We were coming in here and the guy that was stopped there with the complaint that, that, that you were talking to, as we came in, I was in the left-hand lane. He came around me and tried to cut in front of me to go into the parking space. Then they ran into the side of me. I kept going straight. He zoomed past me, cut in front of me, slammed on his brakes. That's when I have a concealed carry permit. That's when okay. I reached down and picked up my gun. Don't take it out the zipper. I won't. Roll the window down for my partner, please. I reached down and picked up my gun, and I held it right here. Did you take it out of the zipper? Did not take it out of the zipper. I held it right here. I held it right here. He ended up going the same way I did, went up on the hill, I mean up on the upper level parking, which is where I came, and once again he stopped me as I passed by him. He stopped at me, wagged his finger at me again, and I came here and picked up my wife. Does any of that constitute pulling out a firearm? When he came by me at 20 miles an hour, Cut in front of me and slammed on his brakes right there. You got every right to be pissed off. I had no idea what he was doing. I had no idea if he had a gun. I had no idea if he was trying to harm me. Why would he cut in front of me in the parking lot? There's bad drivers from, all over from Texas. From the right hand lane, he passes by me fast enough to get in front of me, cuts in front of me as if he was going to go into the parking lot and then stop. Went back. Like, he, now I've decided not to go into the parking area. Now he pulls his car back out and goes the same direction I happen to be going, and now he's in front of me. I slowed down so that there wouldn't be additional confrontation. Unfortunately, as I passed right by him right there, he said something else to me. I didn't know he was talking to you guys, but he said something else to me. I ignored him, walked by, picked up my wife. You got your ID on you? What did you no, see? I, I tried to uh, cross through. But, but what did you see? Over there in the... the oh. I'm Uber driver. I came uh -huh. with the drive over there. And I want to get the shortcut over there. Uh -huh. Okay, I came the second lane. He come the third lane. Uh -huh. He has to go to the turn, right? Uh -huh. He come the third lane. Mm -hmm. I tried to get the, the turn. And he, he come to the third lane and the second lane. Both maybe. He okay. not let me to go. Did you see a firearm? Yeah, he's he showed me like this, yeah. The, with the firearm out of the bag? Yeah, he showed me like this. Okay, what kind of firearm was it? I don't know. Some, not outside. Inside, he showed me like this. Okay. Did you? Was it the handgun visible or was it inside the bag? No, he's in the, he's in the gun. He's okay. in the gun hand and he showed me in the glass. Okay, what color was it? Do you know? In the black. I saw the black on the... A, a, just a black handgun? Yeah. I, okay. Yeah. It showed me like this, do you, yeah. You do you have your driver's license yeah. real quick? What I want to know is... Okay. What made you think it was a good idea to even brandish the bag? First of all, he aggressively went by me. Okay, I, I get that people, and he a road in, rage and all that. He cut in front of me. I didn't know at that point. When he cut in front of me and stopped his vehicle and blocked me from proceeding, at that point I thought, okay, what is this guy doing? Mm -hmm. Why is he stopping and blocking my lane? Mm -hmm. He could have done two things, kept going straight or gone into the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Do you? Why did he stop in my lane? At a 45, perpen 45 degree perpendicular, he was partly in the right lane, partly mm -hmm. in my lane. I couldn't advance any further. Did you um, already so give I my partner your ID? I you don't need to reach for it. No, I said I just picked up my bag at that time and held it right here. Okay. Did you ever take the firearm out of the bag? I did not take it out of the bag. I know better than to do that. I've got mm -hmm. a carry concealed weapon and he has that as well. What kind of firearm is it? It's a 9mm. What kind? Uh, I don't know. I think it's a Ruger. It's my dad. My dad passed away, and it's his gun. I think it's a Ruger. A Ruger. Thing. Okay. But do you see how even brandishing the bag is not the best of ideas? I, I can see that now because I'm talking to you, and that's not what mm -hmm. I wanted to be doing tonight. But can you see, especially in this day and age, 44, we're good. with violence all over this country, can you see from my perspective how when a car just pulls in front of me and stops and impedes my progress, what am I supposed to... But if you, if you brandish a firearm... What list of things am I supposed to start... Sir, we're a little busy, okay? I'm sorry. What, what, what am I supposed to do when that happens? What's the first thing that I should be thinking? Well, I, Am and, I in danger? Okay, in your instance... Is he going to invite if, me if, to if, a tea party? If I were you, okay, yes, sir. because I've been concerned because of road rage and all that other stuff, Exactly. what I would do is I'd lock my door, 
And if you have the firearm, I'm not going to brandish it. I'm not going to show anybody. I might have my hand on it in case or something like that, but I'm not going to sit here and threaten somebody with it or I show them. Threaten my help or not. Okay, but with you showing with you showing him even the bag, which everybody knows what's in that kind of bag, that could be considered as a threat. Well, stopping your car and blocking me in the middle of my lane could be considered a threat as well. And that, my question to you is, at what point do I determine that my life is in danger? Okay. And what, at what point do I start taking steps to protect myself when a man pulls his car in front of me and stops it at a 45 degree angle, impeding my traffic and breaking the driving laws? Okay. Can I see your firearm? No, don't take it out of the bag. Just hand me the bag. It's unzipped. Okay. I always what? drive with it unzipped so I can okay. reach for it if I need to. Okay. I'm gonna put it right. I'm gonna put it right here. Okay. Right. You care if I take it and unload it real quick? No, go right ahead. I'm gonna take it back to my car just so it's not here in front of everybody. Okay. Why are you doing that? Because I'm gonna run your firearm, and make sure it's not oh, stolen. But I don't want to. I don't want to unload it in front of everybody over here. Okay. So what he's saying is that he got he, this road rage incident with this Uber driver. Uber driver like cut him off or something like that. Park, and he said that. The, this driver said that he just brandished the bag, not the firearm or anything like that. The driver saying that he brandished the firearm. But. Was the Uber driver able to describe the firearm? He's, he just said it was a black handgun. Okay. Because I asked him if it was in the bag or. Seven forty-four on two. I'm sorry. I know you're busy. I have a firearm. Whenever you're ready. So, at what point did he show the gun? When they went across, I knocked the phone. So about right here. Yeah. But he came up the up ramp too. No, he going this way. He, because he crossed me, I can't get the lane, and I go with the back for him. Hang on over here. When this whole lane change happened, did you continue going straight or did you go up the up ramp through the garage? No, I never entered the garage. Never entered the garage? Okay, so were you in the very far left lane and then you tried to change lanes all the way to the right? I was in the lane where you could either go in the garage or go straight. He was in the next lane. Okay, right. so you weren't in the very far left lane. No. You were in the middle lane, per se. I was in the lane, I don't know what they call it. I was in the lane that you could either turn left, it sounded like it had two arrows. One was to left, turning left into the garage, the other would go straight. I went straight. He blocked me before we got to that spot. He was so pissed off because he tried to force his way over. I honked my horn at him, that pissed him off. He ran right by me as if to intimidate me, and he did and cut in front of my car just before he could go into the garage and I thought he was going to go in the, I thought he was going to cut in front of me, give me the finger and then pull into the garage. He pulled in front of me, didn't go into the garage, wagged his finger, uh, wagged his hand at me, I don't know what he was doing with his hand, and then he turned half a circle, went back into the lane I was in and went up the ramp. And I was behind him at that point. Yeah. I was never going to I mean, if you got a video, that would better smooth things out because I'm getting one story from him and one story from you. That's why everything's getting confusing. I don't know. I have a cheaper if you want to check it out and let me know. I can't do nothing with that, man. Okay. But if a guy's waving a gun, then that, that's a crime. Yeah, we want to investigate yeah, that. Yeah, you can do it so because I, 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 I tell them exactly what happened. I'm talking about the, this the up ramp, okay? Yeah. But I am in the middle lane, turn to the up ramp, and he's trying to with the lower level ramp, cross that way. Okay. It's okay. I don't know. So did he, did he ever take the firearm out of his yeah, little pack? Yeah, he like this. And what, so what, what kind of gun did you visually see? No, he's, he showed me on the inside the car. Inside the car like this. Yeah, at what point? Like up here or back no, down there the behind the back there. The, the, when I knocked that, I honked that because he crossed me. Okay. I can't get so, what, what did you see? What kind of firearm? I don't see that. What kind of? But I see inside the. Did, did it look like a rifle, handgun? It's small gun. It's small gun. It's small gun. It's like that. I don't know which name is that, but it's small okay. gun like Was that. Black, black, black color. Yeah. Black, silver. black color. Yeah. Black color. Okay. 
So it definitely wasn't in a brown leather holster. Okay. Uh, I would say unfortunate timing of like the recirculation road back there where everyone's trying to turn left to go up into the garage and then he was trying to change lanes to right to keep going straight on the recirculation road. Okay. Both honk at each other, you know, probably gave each other the finger. Okay. He's saying that he took his firearm out of his holster and started flashing it at him. Okay. He's saying he just picked up his little uh, brown leather holster and just to prove that he had a gun and he shouldn't intimidate him or anything like that. Okay. He's saying he never took it out of the holster. Okay. But he's advising he saw a small black handgun being waved by this gentleman. Okay. Here's the other question. If we do pursue the disorderly uh, conduct charge, do you want to pursue charges on him? I don't know. I just, I just need to you because we are working all the time over the engine, right? That's. I get that. He never do anything wrong with that. He just come to earn the money. Right? But, a, but as of right now, the crime is against you. He displayed a firearm towards you, so yeah. you, you would have to be the victim of that crime. So I don't know. it's up to you if you want to go through the legal process. If we end up going that route, no, no. I don't want to. You don't want to. Okay, so what? I mean, I what I can do, I, I can do an incident report documenting yeah. what happened. Uh -huh. yeah, this seems uh, because I don't want to go with the over because I don't want to lose that time and the money from everything. Hey, what with all this day of crazies out in the world, I can't believe that there's even a question that I had the right to feel threatened. Well, there other officers are doing their investigation and. We'll go from there. If someone pulled in front of you and blocked your car from the dancing, would you feel comfortable with that or would you feel uncomfortable with that? I mean, let me tell you one thing, right? About the airport. At the airport, I have seen something you probably would be like, no way. People will pull in from anywhere. Right. You, you won't even exactly see them. What he was trying people to do. will walk in front of your car. When yes. people come to the airport, I don't know what happens to them, but something funny happens. I've seen people come from anywhere and everywhere. So at the airport, I feel like, you know, well, if you have road rage, then airport's probably not the best place to be at. I don't have road rage until somebody stops their car in front of me, prohibits me from moving my car, and then I'm wondering, what is this person going to do next? Are mm -hmm. they going to jump out of their car with a gun? Right. Are they going to jump out of their car with a baseball bat? What am right. I supposed to do now? Sit here and wait for them to do something? All right. Regardless of whether or not he's going to prosecute, he's going to go to jail. He's going to jail? For disorderly conduct. Even though we don't got video of it, it's just his word versus... Well, he described it as being a small black handgun, right? What is he in possession of? I haven't seen the handgun, but yeah. It's a small black handgun. Okay. So, I mean, so he told me black handgun. Uh, it's a black handgun. I don't know. It's a full size. But. That's fine with me. So, I mean, he, he got what, a probable cause. What, when he did hand me the bag, the bag was unzipped. He said he drives with it unzipped like that. But, the, I mean, the gun was easily accessible. But. So, I, I, that's, I, that's just where we are. So, we'll talk about this afterwards. But. I'll, I'll, you step out of the car for us real quick. That's going to take me to jail. We're going to talk about that out here real quick. Come on, buddy. Please don't take me to jail. Right, let's go back over here real quick. Okay. Based off of the fact and circumstances that we were told, okay, we believe that you displayed a firearm. Okay. Whether or not it's in the zipper or whatever. He, I, descri I, he, he described your handgun. Okay. I did help. A small black handgun. Okay, that's it's not a of, small gun. Regardless, it's a large water. gun. Okay, he described your handgun. Okay, that's kind of hard to do when it's inside of a, a brown leather case. It was in the case. That, that's okay, so what right now saw. you're going to be arrested for disorderly conduct for displaying firearm. Okay, so can you turn around, and put your hands behind your back for us, please? Yeah. Can I can I have a minute with my wife to we'll let you talk with her make some arrangements? I believe you guys were doing this. I didn't show him my firearm. I didn't. I didn't, well, show, I didn't show him my firearm. I don't understand how you're taking his word against mine. Well, we're going to search you and we're going to go in the back of the car. Okay. 
Can I have a, can I have a word yeah. with my well, wife? I'm gonna let you talk with her in here in a second. I'm gonna, but I gotta search you first, okay? I don't have any pockets or anything. Okay. I, I have to. Okay. This is unbelievable. Real quick, are you okay such, with your wife driving your truck home? I am okay with that. This is such an injustice. I did not show that guy my gun. Is there a law that says I can't show him the bag? Right now, he described your farm. Okay. Yeah, but how hard is that to say it was a black pistol? I mean, if I said it was a black pistol, how many people in the country have black pistols? A lot of people with tan, silver. Yeah, but there's a lot with black too. I mean, is that we the, step in the car real yes, quick? Sir. Yes, sir. I don't want to complicate this. I, I'm really having a hard time because my shoulder has been operated on, and I okay. I can't see how I'm supposed to do this. There's a lot. Okay, underneath the straps. Yes, sir. I don't know uh, if I can do this. My shoulder's killing me with these handcuffs on. I just had rotator cuff surgery. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to be difficult. I'm not trying to be difficult. Who's the supervisor? I am. Can you tell me just how I'm just the guy saying it was a black man I'm being arrested? So now, let me ask you this. God. Okay. The aggression that he displayed on me with his vehicle by pulling in front of the the only lane that I was in. That act of aggression, what am I supposed to do with that? Okay. That's that's failed to maintain a single lane or not yielding the right of way, that's that's a traffic offense at this point. Okay. So I mean it, it's but, but it's I understand in retrospect it's a traffic offense, but I'm asking you when a man you know, zooms blocking. past me and intentionally blocks my lane, what am I supposed to think might happen next? How did I know he wasn't going to jump out of the car with his gun? Well, did he jump out of the car? No, he didn't. But you're dealing with retro. I'm asking about in the moment. Right. Did you believe that he had a gun on him? I believed he aggressed on me because okay. he, he passed me and I think the speed limit at that ramp is 15 miles an hour. He came okay. all the way around me from behind me, okay. cut in front of me, slammed on his brakes, stopped me from progressing. Okay. And that's when I lifted up my gun case and showed it to him. Okay. And then he backed up, went back into the same lane that he was blocking me from and went up the ramp. Okay. How is that? What am I supposed to do with that? And I'm not talking, look at it retrospectively. Right. No, I understand. Try to put yourself in the moment. Right. And I've, I've been in that moment myself as well, and I'm an LTC holder. And like I said, at that point, all he got is basically just a traffic offense, and you got to just let it go. Personally. Okay. Um, so I, I go to where he is. Should I go home first and then come get They're so not going to let me out go ahead. Here's what's going to happen. Gonna get bail, like I'm going to go stay in their holding facility tonight. Okay. Tomorrow morning they're going to transfer me to the Tarrant County Jail where all the bad boys are. And then the Tarrant County Jail is probably going to hold me until Monday. And they will probably take me in for some arraignment on Monday morning. That's my guess. Would that sound reasonable? The, the, the jail staff will be able to give you some more information. But I'm but probably going to spend two nights in jail, right? That I don't know. Can you call this to therapy in the morning and cancel my appointment? I'm supposed to be there at 940. Okay. Um, but can I get you out tonight? Like no, tonight? you can't. They're, they're, they don't have. They don't Most allow bonds. bonding. Yeah. There is no, no bond tonight. So I will spend the night sleeping on a metal po a metal bed somewhere tonight, probably here in the airport somewhere. I'll give you that just before you're going to go and tonight. And then tomorrow okay. morning they're going to transfer me to the county jail. And if if the go. county jail gives me an opportunity to bond out before they book me in, you've got to come get me right away because they usually only allow a few hours to do that. 